Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will continue with the series on relay logic. In a previous video, I showed you the AND and NAND gates. And in this video, we will see the OR and NOR gates. We will check the circuit using relays, of course, and then we will see the practical circuit in operation. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Here's the truth table for the OR and NOR gates. We have two inputs A and B, which in our circuit are implemented by switches. A zero means the absence of a voltage and the one means the presence of a voltage. In the output, also zero represents no voltage and one represents the presence of voltage. And as you can see, for the OR gate, if both inputs are zero, the output is also zero. And if any of the inputs or both are one, the output is one. For the NOR gate, which is the negative of the OR gate, we have one when both inputs are zero and zero in any other case. In order to make the gates, I will be using single pole double throw relays, such as this one. These relays are the ones with five pins. Two of them correspond to the coil. We have a common contact, a normally open contact, and a normally closed one. This is how I will be drawing the relays in these schematics. Here we have the coil the common contact, the normally closed contact, and the normally open contact. One terminal of the coil goes to negative or ground, and the other is free for connection. When the coil is not energized, we have the common and the normally closed contact. We have a connection between them. But when we energize the coil, this switch moves to the other position and now we have connection between the common and the other contact. Here's the diagram of the circuit. We have two switches, two diodes, the relay and two LED lamps to indicate the state of the OR and the NOR gates. And let's see how it works. Here we have positive and negative also positive here to the common of the relay and with both switches open, no voltage, we can see that here this LED is on. However, when we close any of the switches or both, then the current will flow through this LED that will turn on and also it will flow to the coil of the relay and this switch will move to the other position. The NOR LED will turn off and the current will also flow through this LED and will turn on. The presence of the diodes is necessary to avoid returns of current in any of these ways. Okay, here's our circuit. We have the two inputs, A and B, the relay, and the two LED lamps. Each one with its resistor to limit the current. This is not in the diagram, but as we know, it's necessary every time we use an LED. And here we have the two diodes. And let me apply power to the circuit and compare with the state of the truth table. First, we have 
zero in both inputs, both switches are open and as we can see we have zero at the nor at the OR gate and one at the NOR gate. Now the next position is zero in A and one in B. Open and close it. And we have one in the OR gate and zero in the NOR gate. The next position is one zero on and off and we have one and zero for NOR. And finally one in both switches. We have one in OR and zero in NOR. As you could see the gates work pretty well however some may say that using diodes in this circuit is kind of cheating because when the first computers that used electromechanical relays were designed semiconductors were still not discovered so it is possible to make OR and NOR gate without using diodes the answer is yes but the circuit is a little bit more complicated we need three relays and let's see how it works we have positive connected here and in each of the common contact of the relays and here's the negative Let's see in the first position 0, 0 with both switches A and B open we see that there is no current flowing in the OR LED which is off but current flows through the NOR LED which is on. Now the next position is 0, 1 this switch open and this closed this relay is energized, the contact moves to this position and the current flows through the OR LED and also this other relay is energized and this contact moves the energizing the NOR LED which will be off. The next position is 1-0, switch A closed, switch B open this relay is energized, the switch moves to this position and the current flows to the OR LED and also energizes this relay turning off the NOR LED. The last position 1-1 one, one, with both switches closed, both relays are energized, the current flows to the OR LED through this path or through this other path and also the T relay is energized turning off the NOR LED and now let's see the real circuit working okay here it is as you can see there are no diodes only the three relays two switches for the inputs A and B and we have one LED for the OR gate and another for the NOR gate, each with its own resistor. Let me now connect the power and the switches are in the zero position, so the NOR LED is on. Let's now try the one zero and you can see that the OR is on. Now zero one again or is on nor is off and finally the one one position okay there you have it two different circuits for the or and nor gates that's all for today thanks for your visit and see you in the next video